To better understand Greenlight, we first need to understand custody. There are several popular ways to onboard someone to Lightning, each with various trade-offs and degrees of custody. The first is through fully custodial services like a custodial wallet or exchange. This tends to be the most convenient and fastest way for someone to onboard another person. Users simply download an app or log in online to the service provider, and the user can receive Bitcoin in seconds. The big trade-off here is the user does not have full custody of their Bitcoin, as they do not hold their own private keys. As a quick refresher, let's review why relying on custodial solutions is not ideal. First, if the user loses their phone or computer that the wallet app is on, there might not be a way for you to recover your funds. Second, the company or developers behind the app could potentially be bad actors and gamble with your funds or even run off with them. Though, note if this were to happen, there would likely be legal repercussions and perhaps you'd be compensated, but it's not guaranteed. See the recent FTX debacle and aftermath as an example. Third, the user is dependent on the app to access their Bitcoin, as there is no way to move those sats off the wallet or recover the wallet to another app. This severely limits your options. And finally, apps can censor your transactions based on their own discretion and also reveal your payment history and habits to third parties. A second onboarding option to Lightning is through non-custodial wallet solutions like Phoenix, Breeze, and the new Lightning-capable Blockstream Green Wallet. These wallets require the extra onboarding step of the user creating a wallet and using their own private keys. Non-custodial wallets avoid the pitfalls of giving control of your funds to the app developers or third parties, and should be the preferred option for non-technical users. The trade-off here, however, is on the back end for app developers, who then have to operate the Lightning nodes in-house and become operation experts in the process, taking precious time away from focusing on UX and building their own app. Developers also incur significant risk and liability by virtue of holding users' funds, becoming a honeypot for hackers. Additionally, by holding users' funds, developers take on the overhead of regulatory compliance, navigating stringent AML and KYC laws for each jurisdiction they might operate in. These are pretty strenuous downsides for something as simple as building an app. This is where Greenlight shines. It enables developers to integrate Lightning infrastructure seamlessly into their platform without having to deal with the overhead of node management while also ensuring the wallet or service stays non-custodial and users maintain total control over their private keys and Bitcoin. By being non-custodial, developers strike down both the fiduciary liability of holding users' funds, as well as the costs of regulatory and compliance requirements. We'll have Christian Decker, the lead Greenlight engineer, on in a bit to discuss more about the unique advantages Greenlight gives app developers and Bitcoin companies when creating a Lightning business. And finally, a third option when onboarding to Lightning is to set up your own Lightning node. This is the best solution for an individual when using Lightning and will give you the most control. However, as mentioned earlier, there is a technical barrier with users having to learn both channel and liquidity management. This learning curve will take some time to master, but there are plenty of educational resources online to help you tackle this.